So ultimately, we want to train our logistic regression model. And for that, we are going to use an algorithm called stochastic gradient descent. In this video, I will try to clarify the relationship between derivatives and gradients so we can then use these concepts to explain the stochastic gradient descent training method for logistic regression in the upcoming videos. So just a brief recap. In the previous video, we had this computation graph where we computed the individual derivatives and partial derivatives. And then we used the chain rule to combine these individual terms to compute the partial derivative of the loss with respect to W1, the model weight. Now, how are derivatives related to gradients? So consider this function f of x equals x squared. If we compute the derivative of this function with respect to x, the result is 2x. So if I would plot this quadratic function, the derivative would be the slope at a given point. Now, there is also the concept of the partial derivative, which is a term we also used in the previous video. The partial derivative is essentially a derivative of one of the variables if a function consists of more than one variable. So for example, if we have a function x squared plus y, we have two variables. Now I can compute the partial derivative of f with respect to x. And in fact, this is 2x similar to the derivative of the function x squared before. And now there is a second variable, y, and I can also compute then the partial derivative of f with respect to y, and in this case, it's one. So in sum, the partial derivative is something we use when we have a function with multiple variables and we want to compute the individual partial derivatives. So how is this actually now related to the gradient of a function? So the gradient of a function is essentially just a way of writing down these partial derivatives in a vector form. So here, if we compute the gradient of f, we have the vector of the partial derivatives 2x and 1. So here's a visualization of this. So here, consider the function f consisting of two variables. And then the gradient would be essentially the slope in two dimensions. So how does it now relate to the logistic regression model and the logistic loss function? So in the logistic regression model, we have multiple parameters that we want to update. So previously, we saw there is the partial derivative of the loss with respect to w1. But here's a second model parameter, b, the bias unit. So we also can compute the partial derivative of the loss with respect to the bias. So in fact, we have two partial derivatives of the loss here. And then the gradient of this loss would be these two partial derivatives in vector form. Yeah, now that we saw how derivatives are related to gradients, we can actually use the concept of a gradient and define the training method to minimize the loss of a logistic regression model.